ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. Today we're checking out the Gigabyte AX370, although I'll just call it X370 because that's much easier, gaming K3 motherboard. And let's jump right into it with the key features. So of course, this is going to support all your AM4 Ryzen CPUs and overclocking like all X370 and B350 motherboards. It can take dual channel DDR4 memory, up to 64 gigabytes of it, and up to 3200 megahertz in terms of speed, so that's really nice there. Audio wise, it's coming with the ALC1220 codec, that's something we see quite often, a codec we see quite often on X370s, and it also comes with high end capacitors, and I can say that the audio is really nice on this motherboard, as good as many of the other X370s I have checked out. Let's move over and talk about the layout then, and we'll work from top to bottom. So on the top left there, we see a fan header and an 8-pin CPU power connector. Then we see a 4 plus 3 power delivery. That's the same as what you get on the gaming K5, by the way, and the same large heat sinks there, so that's quite good to see. Then we see a CPU fan and CPU optional headers beside the steel reinforced RAM slots. Then on the side, we have another fan header and a motherboard power connector. Then under that we have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 header. Moving more towards the center of the motherboard, PCI wise, we have two steel reinforced x16 physical slots. Now keep in mind, one of them is running at x16, the other one is running at x4. Then we have three PCIe x1 slots and a you know, standard M.2 PCIe x4 slot. Back over by the chipset, we have 8 SATA 6 connectors and 2 SATA Express connectors. Then down the bottom, you have all your front panel connections like normal and a pump connector. Then you get another USB 3.1 Gen 1 header beside two standard USB 2.0 headers. Then we just have a TPM connector, COM header, LED header, and your front panel audio header. Moving around to the back, and let's talk about the rear I.O. and work from left to right. So on the top left there you have a PS2 connector and two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. Those are the yellow ones there and you definitely want to use those ones when you do BIOS updates. Then you just get an HDMI connector beside two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, the blue ones. Then we have the red ports there. Now those are USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A ports, so that's really nice. And you also get uh, an RJ45 port above two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and then just all your standard audio jacks there. So uh, I/O wise, it's a little bit more minimal compared to some of the other X370s we've seen, but there's still plenty there for most people out there. Let's talk about the BIOS then. So updating the BIOS is very very easy with Q Flash. Um, it's just a breeze. I would highly recommend you do it as well as you should with every motherboard. The BIOS itself is basic. That's how I would put it. There's not that much you can change by comparison to other X370 motherboards. And some people might have issues with it because you cannot set a fixed voltage. Instead, it's dynamic. So that might trip up a few people when it comes to overclocking. I would honestly say I just stick between 0.200 that'll give you the plus 200 or you know you could go up to 0.250 that would be just fine that's what I set it for my overclock you could go all the way up to 0.270 if you wanted and that should be just fine see so yeah, with my uh, Ryzen 1700 I managed 4 gigahertz on all 8 cores at plus 0.250 and that was just fine and that was with memory set at 2933 megahertz also so yeah it was just fine in terms of overclocking but the bias to me it just seemed a, a little bit on the more basic side of things which brings us nicely into the conclusion we have to bring price into the equation so right now in New Zealand at Playtech you can pick up the gaming K3 for 255 New Zealand dollars which is ten dollars more expensive than the ASUS Prime X370 Pro. The two boards are very similar in many ways, especially in terms of the audio and the rear I.O. But the ASUS board is just better. There's no other way to put it, guys. It has more PCI slots, it's got a, you know, just better features, better VRM, and much better BIOS, I'll say that for sure, much, much better BIOS. It also seemed more stable as a motherboard. So that's basically how I have to end this video. The gaming K3 is a decent motherboard but its closest competitor which in New Zealand is actually slightly cheaper it's just a much better motherboard so I'm sorry Gigabyte 
uh, but I cannot recommend this motherboard. I would honestly pick the Asus Prime X370 Pro any day of the week, and I suggest you guys do as well. I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already, and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.